you may have heard about some stolen emails. Some people are calling it the scientific scandal of the century. But here's the real story. For more than a century, we've known about the impact of heat-trapping gases like carbon dioxide on the Earth's climate. Temperatures really shot up over the past 50 years. In 2007, a panel of more than 2,500 scientists concluded that evidence of global warming is unequivocal and that humans are very likely the cause. Evidence of climate change comes from multiple sources. New records show that the past decade was the hottest on record. So why do some people still deny the climate is warming? Recently, illegally hacked emails led to renewed claims by the climate deniers, who use the emails to justify their own beliefs and agenda. All right, Senator, it is you were right for a long time. We were right on this program. And even Sarah Palin jumped in. In reality, a handful of emails do not change the facts. I emphasize that climate change is not a theory. It is a documented set of observations about the world. Many leading experts have reaffirmed the science. Several groups analyzed the emails and found nothing that changes the facts or our understanding of this issue. Most importantly, a handful of emails don't refute what's happening all around us. Satellite images from the first week of December show a massive chunk of ice slowly drifting away from Antarctica and through the South Pacific. Climate change is causing sea levels to rise, glaciers to melt, and contributing to more severe droughts, floods, and other natural disasters. It's threatening our people, our national treasures, and our homes. We need action now to protect our planet and enhance our national security. This is no time for distractions. Congress needs to pass clean energy and climate legislation to create jobs, cut pollution, and strengthen our security.